Hello everyone, Windroid here and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to review the Motorola Razr 40 Ultra, the latest foldable phone from Motorola that has some impressive features and specs. Is this the best foldable phone of 2023? Let's find out. The Razr 40 Ultra is a clamshell foldable phone that has a sleek and futuristic design. It has a 6.9-inch P OLED main display with a center punch hole cutout, a full HD plus resolution, and a whopping 165Hz refresh rate. This makes it the fastest foldable screen on the market, and it also supports HDR10 plus 4 vibrant colors and contrast. The screen is protected by Gorilla Glass 7 and has a droplet-shaped curvature at the hinge area to prevent dust and water ingress. The phone also has an IP52 rating for splash resistance, which is not very high, but better than nothing. But the real highlight of the Razer 40 Ultra is the 3.6-inch POLED secondary display on the back panel. This screen has a 144Hz refresh rate, making it the first in the clamshell foldable phone segment. It also stretches toward the camera sensors and an LED flash unit, giving it a sleek and futuristic look. The secondary display can be used for various functions such as checking notifications, controlling music playback, taking selfies, and more. You can also customize it with different wallpapers and widgets to suit your style. The Razer 40 Ultra is powered by the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 SoC, which is one of the most powerful processors available right now. It also comes with up to 12GB of RAM and 512GB of onboard storage, which should be more than enough for most users. The phone runs on Android 13 with Motorola's Ready for feature that lets you connect the phone to a monitor or TV for a desktop-like experience. You can also use it for gaming, video conferencing, or streaming content. The camera department of the Razer 40 Ultra consists of a dual rear camera setup with a 12 megapixel main sensor with optical image stabilization and a 13 megapixel ultra wide and macro lens. The cameras can capture decent photos and videos in good lighting conditions, but they struggle in low light scenarios. The front facing selfie camera is a 32 megapixel unit that can capture sharp and detailed selfies. You can also use it for face unlock which works well most of the time. The battery capacity of the Razer 40 Ultra is 3,800 mAh, which is not very impressive for a foldable phone with such a large screen. However, it does support 33-watt fast charging, which can top up the battery in about an hour. The phone also has a side-mounted fingerprint scanner, which is fast and reliable. It also has 5G connectivity, Wi-Fi, 6E, Bluetooth 5.3, USB-C port, and NFC. The Razer 40 Ultra comes in three colors, Viva Magenta, Glacier Blue, and Infinite Black. It starts around $800 for the 8GB plus 256GB variant and goes up to $899 for the 12GB plus 512GB configuration. So, what do I think of the Razer 40 Ultra? Well, I think it's a great foldable phone that offers a stunning design, a powerful performance, and a unique secondary display. It's definitely one of the most exciting phones of 2023 and I would recommend it to anyone who wants to try something different. However, it's not perfect. It has some drawbacks such as a mediocre battery life, an average camera performance, and a low water resistance rating. It also faces some tough competition from other foldable phones such as the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4, which has better cameras, battery life, and water resistance. So, if you're looking for a foldable phone that has more features and durability than the Razer 40 Ultra, you might want to check out the Galaxy Z Flip 4 instead. But if you're looking for a foldable phone that has more style and speed than the Galaxy Z Flip 4, you might want to check out the Razer 40 Ultra instead. That's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And let me know in the comments what you think of the Razer 40 Ultra. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.